um, greetings friend today we are going to study about reproduction of a cow cattle uh, bulls reproductive anatomy on farms it is very common to use artificial insemination a medically assisted reproduction technique consisting of artificial deposition of semen in the female genetical tract <laughs> it is used in cases where the spermatozoa cannot reach the fallopian tubes or by choice of the owner of the mam animal it consists of transferring to the uterinary cavity spermatozoa previously collected and processed with the selection of morphologically more normal and mobile mobile spermatozoa a cow's udder contains two pairs of mammary glands commonly referred to as teats creating four quarters or so the front ones are referred to as four quarters and the rear ones rear quarters synchronization of cattle ovulation to benefit dairy farming may be accomplished via induced ovulation techniques in the secondary sex ratio the ratio of male or female offspring at birth is approximately 52 is to 48 although it may be influenced by environmental and other factors bulls become fertile at about 7 months of age Uh, the fertility is closely related to the size of their testicles and one simple test of fertility is to measure the circumference of the scrotum a young bull is likely to be fertile once this reaches 28 cm 11 inch that of a fully adult bull may be be over 40 cm so <laughs> this is regarding the fertility of bull Uh, a bull has a fibro <coughs> elastic penis given the small amount of erectile tissue <coughs> there is little enlargement after erection the penis is quite rigid when non erect <coughs> uh, and becomes even more rigid during erection prostration is not affected much by erection but more by relaxation of the retractor penis muscle and straight then straightening of the sigmoid flexure flexure this is about uh, reproduction of a cattle or cow or bull <coughs> thanks for watching please subscribe and share with your family and friends